All right, YouTube, so I don't usually do driving videos. Usually I'm in a studio, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's on my mind about inflation to share with you and your families. You know, as I read a bunch of articles about inflation, all I'm seeing right now is people talking about how inflation is dropping, how it's come down, how things are cooling off, and the Fed plans to reduce rates next year, and all these sort of things. And I want to describe to you a story about inflation so you really understand how inflation actually works. So there's a place here in Arizona that I love to go to and it's a Korean barbecue spot. And about 18 months ago, they increased their, uh, the cost for their medium meat or their large meat tray from $100 to $130, effectively raising price by 30%. And the reason I bring that up is they, they haven't changed since then. So it's now been um, $130 for 18 months. But when they did that, the inflation of that item was 30%. And so it went up by 30%. And every month after that, that it remained at 30 bucks, month one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 12 months was a 30% inflation because inflation is measured in increments of rolling 12 months. But after month 13 came about and price was still at $130, what happens is, the increase from 100 to 130 dropped off on month number 13. So the last 12 months is now all at 130. The reason I bring that up is now in this case, inflation is zero. You see what I did there? Prices are still high. The price still went up, but it has now stayed at the same price for 12 consecutive months, effectively meaning inflation is at zero. The reason I bring this up guys, and I, and I really just want you to understand, inflation is not going down is not about prices dropping. Inflation going down is about price stability. That's all it's about. And so prices right now, because inflation is dropping, it means prices are stabilizing. But your grocery bills, your electric bills, your cell phone, car, insurance, all these sort of things that are killing all of us right now have not come down in price. I guarantee if I asked you guys to comment down below if prices have gone down and those in your neck of the woods, you'd say no. Well, then why is inflation dropping? It's because inflation is not based off you saving money. It's based off price stability. Now, why is this important for our lives? Well, right now, because inflation is dropping, and I just, I don't like the way they calculate it, so that's why you hear my sarcasm in my voice, but because it's dropping, next year, right now, we are seeing about a 65% chance that starting in March of 2024, we will start to cut rates. Rates will start to reduce meaning borrowing costs will go up, uh, or will go down, excuse me. Costs of saving money will go down. De-incentivizing saving and re-incentivizing borrowing money. All of this is important, guys, because we expect them to do this five or six times next year. Now, again, the reason I talk about this is what do we think is going to happen when they start to reduce rates? 80% of borrowers in the housing market have rates below 5%. So people aren't gonna to start to get excited about buying homes again, unless their rate is below 5%. Yet prices have continually gone up and we're about to bring in even more demand to that equation. So my bold prediction for 2024 into 2025 into 2026 is that 2024 is gonna be the year of easing. We're gonna see those rates reduce. We're gonna see this sort of stuff happen. However, when they reduce those rates, new buyers come into play. People start to spend a little bit because they can now borrow a little bit and prices will stop stabilizing and they will begin to increase again. Now we got a problem because inflation is now going back up and at that point is when the Fed has a tough decision to make. At that point, they will more than likely raise rates once again, effectively tightening and then that's when I think the economy is gonna start to have some real trouble because we've been through this for so long. That's why I'm predicting 25 or 26 is the real time of trouble, not 24. So hopefully this helps you guys. Share this with your families. If you guys like videos like this, we can do more like this. Click that like button. Let me know in the comments what you guys got out of this video. And as always, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel because I'm putting out a ton of really, really quality free content for you guys. I got nothing to sell you. I don't have a course. I don't have a coaching program. I don't have a mentorship. I'm just a 27-year-old going on 28-year-old dude that's doing his best to make stuff happen. And I want you guys to do well uh, as well. So we'll see you guys on the next video. God bless.